in this class you are able to understanding five important concepts they are speed and velocity uniform motion and non uniform motion and acceleration first of all speed what is speed speed of an object is the distance traveled by an object per unit time is called speed speed is a scalar that means no magnitude and no direction so it cannot be zero the si unit of speed is meter per second the si unit is meter per second so speed equal to distance traveled by time taken what is speed the speed of the body is distance traveled by it per unit time is called speed si unit is meter per second speed equal to distance traveled by time taken speed is a scalar it has no magnitude and no direction so it cannot it cannot be zero so next velocity what is velocity the speed of an object changes with respect to time in specified direction is called velocity so the si unit of velocity is meter per second uh, therefore velocity equal to change in displacement by change in displace meant by time taken so velocity is a vector velocity have direction and magnitude so it is a vector and it can be zero velocity can be zero these are the main differences between speed and velocity what is speed the speed of a you know, body is distance traveled by it by unit time is called speed velocity means the speed of the body is changes with respect to time in specified direction is called velocity next uniform motion what is uniform motion for example a cyclist traveling a cyclist traveling some distance for example time distance time distance so he travel 0 seconds seconds in meters 0 seconds in 0 meters 1 second in 2 meters 2 seconds in 4 meters 3 seconds in 6 meters 4 seconds in 8 meters so these are the distance and uh, time and distance table from this table we observe the draw the graph this is time x axis take a time in x axis take distance in y axis so this is 1 2 3 4 5 2 4 6 8 10 12 so 0 seconds 0 meters 1 second 2 meters 2 seconds 4 meters 3 seconds 6 meters 4 seconds 8 meters what do you observe this is a straight line this is a straight line so from this graph you observe that the velocity cannot be changes the velocity cannot be changes the cyclist going in a equal distance in equal interval of time equal distance in equal interval of time you got a time 1 second 2 second the difference 1 out in the you got to 0 2 4 6 8 you got difference code on k 2 2 meters difference in this so you got a cyclist and ever do equal interval distance low equal interval time level to not do so the velocity cannot be changes so this type of motion is called uniform motion yeah a body said to be in uniform motion the velocity cannot be changes that motion is called uniform motion non uniform motion what are the non uniform motion for example a cyclist this is the time seconds this is the distance meters a cyclist moving 0 seconds in 0 meters 1 second in 1 meter 2 seconds in 3 meters 3 seconds in 6 meters 4 seconds in 9 meters what do you observe here time is same interval of time but distance is not interval draw the graph by this table time displacement s 
take time in x axis time displacement in y axis 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 So zero second zero meters, one second one meter, two seconds three meters, three seconds six meters, four seconds nine meters. So this is a curve. This is a curve, not a straight line. This is a curve. So here the cyclist moves equal interval of time, but unequal distances. it travel unequal distance in equal interval of time so this is called this most this type of motion is called non uniform motion the motion of the body is said to be non uniform motion when its velocity changes with respect to time is called non uniform motion in non uniform motion for example take a stone take a stone or stone this kind of other thread that we arrange this one ఇలా తిప్పుతూ ఉంటే మనకి ఏం ఫామ్ అవుతుంది ఒక డైరెక్షన్ అనేది ఫామ్ అవుతుంది ఆ డైరెక్షన్ మనం డ్రా చేసినట్లయితే ఇలా ఉంటుంది సో ఇక్కడ మనం స్టోన్ పట్టుకుని ఉన్నాము సో అది ఇలా వెళ్ళిపోవడానికి ఇలా వెళ్ళిపోవడానికి ఇలా వెళ్ళిపోవడానికి చేంజ్ అవుతుంటుంది అమ్మ కానీ బట్ వీఆర్ లాంగ్ ఇన్ టు ఇన్ సైడ్ సో దిస్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ మోషన్ ఇస్ కాల్ సర్క్యులర్ మోషన్ ఈ సర్క్యులర్ మోషన్ సో ఇక్కడ స్పీడ్ అనేది కాన్స్టెంట్గా ఉంటుంది కానీ వెలాస్ట్ అనేది చేంజ్ అయిపోతూ ఉంటుంది ఎందుకంటే ఈ డైరెక్షన్లో ఈ డైరెక్షన్లో ఈ డైరెక్షన్లో ఈ డైరెక్షన్లో ఇక్కడ with respect to time velocity will be changes so speed is constant velocity is changes so it is uh, undergoes to non uniform motion circular so, motion is also be non uniform motion next concept acceleration what is acceleration the rate of change of velocity of an object is called acceleration what is the rate of change of velocity of an object is called acceleration so acceleration denoted by a a equal to velocity by time velocity by time next uniform uniform acceleration what is uniform acceleration means the change in velocity with respect to time is called uniform acceleration the change in velocity with respect to time is called uniform acceleration so a equal to delta v by t the si unit of acceleration is meter per second square or r meter second in for minus 2 meter second for minus 2 meter for second square or r meter second for minus 2 this is called si unit so acceleration is also be vector acceleration is also be vector vector means magnitude as well as direction ipudu uniform motion non uniform motion meda konni videos observe cheyandi so ee daily life lo ee vidhanga manake work avutundi ane vishayanni meer observe cheyochu uniform motion and non uniform motion a body is said to be in uniform motion if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time a body is said to have non uniform motion if it travels unequal distances in equal intervals of time for example consider a car moves from one position to another position about 16 meters distance within time t 8 seconds here the car starts from o and after 2 seconds it reaches position a covering a distance of 4 meters from the origin as shown in next 2 seconds it reaches position b covering a distance of 8 meters from origin and in next 2 seconds it reaches c covering a distance of 12 meters from origin and in next 2 seconds it reaches d covering a distance of 16 meters from origin in this case the car covers a total distance of 16 meters in 8 seconds with equal intervals of 2 seconds it means that the distance covered by the car is directly proportional to the time from this illustration we can conclude that the car had traveled equal distances in equal intervals of time so this type of motion is known as uniform motion 
another example. Consider a car moves from one position to another position about 16 meters distance within time t 8 seconds. Here the car starts from O and after 2 seconds it reaches position A covering a distance of 2 meters from the origin as shown. It reaches position B covering a distance of 8 meters from origin and in next 2 seconds it reaches C covering a distance of 10 meters from origin and in next 2 seconds it reaches D covering a distance of 16 meters from origin. In this case, the car covers a distance of 16 meters in each 2 second interval. From this illustration, we can conclude that the car had traveled unequal distances in equal intervals of time. So, this type of motion is called as non-uniform motion. Acceleration. What do each of these short clips have in common? They are all examples of acceleration. Acceleration is the rate at which velocity changes. This change in velocity can be a change in speed, direction, or both. So an object accelerates if its speed, direction, or both change.